Good times with Mo and Mojo. Wake up! 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 No! Well, I have been having threats for the last four days, but last night uh, was the first time that they became really graphic. And now, now, is it, a, is, it a, is it an Australian accent or is no, it? No, 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 no. It's an overseas call. I, I, I knew that. Was that was so it was it was a thing. It was like a Filipino voice. Oh, absolutely. Did it sound uh-huh. like this guy's voice? Listen. Uh, no, I don't feel oh, any hear, pressure right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have the guy's voice? No, 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 no. Oh, right, I thought you did. Because I could probably... Look, I'm going to the police as soon as this phone call's finished. I've spoken to my mom this morning. When somebody mentions your mother... Mm-hmm. You, you, you react in a completely different way. Don't mess so the, my death, so the death I threat said. was not just for you, but for family members. It was for my mother. And wow. I also had a couple threats yesterday regarding my dogs. And, dogs? Um, Speaking yeah, of Yeah, and so people know how much I love my dogs. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. They, they've been on your video blogs for a while. You know, on the interview th- this weekend, and uh, I think from a lot of the posts there, people are asking for for details about uh, what happened with the slight physical injury over there at the, at the Hotel Intercon. Yeah. Well, well um, I've explained. I've, I've pretty much explained everything um, to people. But the, they're asking physical... specifically, which uh, were the, the Gucci gang members there, or did you try to ask them for help? Or what did they specifically say to you? Wait, well, regarding hold on that? one second, Joel. You're, you're you're a terrible interviewer, by the way. May I just uh, thank you, thank you. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Because you don't. I do, Mojo. I understand what you're he saying. There was nobody there that night. There was there was no one there. But okay, what uh, happened? What what, what night? What are you talking about? Okay, uh, you, you got to summarize the story. Okay, before you ask questions. According to the to what. Uh, he's being sued for uh, slight physical injuries uh, when they were at the hotel intercon him and DJ mm-hmm. when uh, he was taken away by the police Brian was yeah. taken away by, by the you police you were taken okay Brian was taken away but why you they had no like fight. an LQ like, okay, like an LQ. Uh, Brian uh, uh, and he supposedly hurt DJ like he got thrown and you, on the you floor might, and yeah and you mentioned some names I think you guys will find let me interrupt here for one second okay. I think you guys will find when, when the police come out with their report uh, at no point during that evening did DJ tell the police that I actually physically struck him not, at no point, because I did not. Uh, the only reason why DJ's come up with this, um, this theory that I hit him is because he wasn't getting any traction with the original confrontation that we had, because I actually, in fact, did not physically assault him. Okay, but then, but, so what's the controversy here, Joe? You're saying that somebody, people were there people, at the hotel. Like, how did you get arrested? Like, uh, you're saying certain members of the Gucci gang got you arrested, and then the police took you somewhere? Do you want me to somewhere? tell you who got me arrested? Yeah, who got you arrested, buddy? Marcel Crespo got me arrested. Uh, who's that, Joe? Uh, Celine, Celine uh, Lopez's ex-fiance. But like, he, he got me arrested. No, well, why is he a police uh, officer? Called him, what's, what's going on? Called Celine. Uh, apparent, you know, called Jackie uh, Antonio. Called his friends. Marcel is the one that made the phone calls and had me arrested. DJ did not make the phone calls to have me arrested because DJ has no uh, pull or power in this way. But Marcel Crespo, he has a lot of power, and he made the phone calls. And um, he was at the hotel room door with DJ when all of the police showed up. I literally stood there, wept, begged, screamed, cried for Marcel. No, but is that? Um, but isn't that guy? Me. Isn't that guy on your side or something? I thought. Look, he look. The only reason why I didn't go to jail uh-huh. that night is because I took Marcel into a private room about uh-huh. five or six hours into this scenario and I looked him in the eyes I grabbed him by the arms and I looked him in the eyes and I begged him I said Marcel you know me do you think I would hit DJ do you think I would make this stuff up I said to him a million times DJ has all of my money Mm -hmm. okay Marcel believe me Marcel went to DJ said look this isn't looking very good for you DJ Uh, it was obvious that night that the tide was actually turning the Mm -hmm. focus and attention from me to DJ Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, Marcel was the one who um, convinced DJ. Okay, in, not, in not, no to, not to go to jail. But, but what happened not with the whole police? Because you were mentioning, um, uh, I know, about you went karaoke with the police after this whole in- altercation? I didn't, well, you know, look, I was not. I didn't volunteer to go play karaoke with the police. Uh, when, wait, when so wait, hold on left. one second. You were about to get arrested. When DJ left, and after that, the you guys police went sergeant ahead. came into the office and said, look, DJ's drove, driven off in his car, so I was just standing there dumbfounded. I waited for another half an hour. The sergeant said to me, we're going to take you back to your hotel. I said, great. I got in the car. They were all joking around. They said, but first we're going to go for a drink. So, of course, I'm freaking no out in the way. car. So the guy asks, the sergeant asks me, do you have any money? I said, no. I took all my money out at lunchtime, and I gave it to DJ, and I couldn't get any more until midnight. So they waited. 
to midnight, and then you guys went. Bank. I withdrew uh, twenty five thousand pesos. Uh, we went to this karaoke bar. I bought dinner for everyone. I bought at least four or five rounds of beer. Wow. And um, good times. When they took me back, to, this is the police. These are all the police that arrested me. When they took me back to my, uh, not arrested me, re- detained me. When they took me back to my hotel room, the sergeant and another fella took me aside, and he sort of looked at me and he said, you know, you're very lucky. We could have treated you much differently. Do you have anything for me? And I said, well, what do you mean do you have anything what? for me? So then I quickly understood what he meant. Yeah, a little. little. And um, I gave him some money at the door. And gotcha. they turned away, walked away. I closed the door. In my hotel room, I fell to the floor and I started to cry. I just couldn't believe what the last 12 hours of right. my life had been. Tough, man, tough. So, yes, of course I was bribed. Look, I didn't want to write about this originally in my blog because I thought it was sort of a uh, uh, kind of an anomaly, a, a weird sort of thing. Uh-huh. But I've been asked about it lately and um, That's the story. I've had to come come out and tell people that I was uh, bribed All that right. night. Uh, and now that I have, I feel a lot better. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it, it's always always a, uh, a weight to lose there when you say when you say a story like that. I mean, well, I'm sure we're going to read about it on your blog. Now, Brian, before we go, uh, let's just, I just want to... It's being investigated. That yeah. is being investigated right now. Gotcha. All the right. The whole evening with DJ, with the, with stealing my money, stealing my uh, and passport. And your passport. That's all being investigated right now. Okay. Um, uh, my solicitor in Australia is freaking out. Uh, because of this, because now, would of you, what would you, to me that night. For example, say DJ showed up on this radio show, would you be able to speak to him? I, he's not here now, but I'm saying, because he's oh, offered... Yes, I would. Now, you know, it's gotten to the point, uh, 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 Mo, that, oh, I'd, I'd get in a ring with the guy. Oh, wow. All right, a little UFC. Yeah, I'm so that. angry. I'm so, so angry. angry at the moment with right. the lies right. that his family right. told on television. Right. I got 70,000. I, I got 70,000 so on you. I'm <laughs> that they had so much time to get their stories together. Now, they've gone on the radio. They've gone on television. They've, they've used the, 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 in essence, they've used the, um, uh, the emotional vulnerability of the Filipino people. They've, they've, they've actually... I, it's, it, the whole thing absolutely drove me crazy, but you know what? I'm glad he did it. Thou shall not kill.